Perth, Western Australia, home to TCS7, the Technip Coflexip Sub C7 joint venture. Gas is harvested via the North Rankin offshore platform, some 135 kilometers northwest of the port town of Dampier. Here, Woodside brings the gas ashore for processing at the fast-expanding LNG plants on the Burrup Peninsula. Parallel to the existing pipeline, the new 42-inch line would link the North Rankin gas field with the LNG liquefaction plant in Dampier. For this assignment, Jumbo selected one of its H-class type ships, equipped with two cranes, each with 400 tons lift capacity. However, for a regular heavy lift ship, even one of Jumbo's latest H-types, to operate in an offshore environment, new technology was going to be needed. Specially made 3D animations, visualizing the operation together with exhaustive motion analysis studies, gave further insight for the necessary adaptations. Normally, the main hoist blocks of a jumbo heavy lift ship would not be required to reach lower than the floor of its lowest hold. In this case, a depth of at least 125 meters had to be reached. To achieve this, both main tackles would have to be substantially modified. The original main hoist winches would be temporarily replaced by two larger capacity hoist winches installed in the tween deck. For optimal safety offshore, each crane's lift capacity would be downrated from 400 tons to 250 tons. Job hazard analysis meetings showed Jumbo Vision to be the lowest risk option. All adaptations passing the rigorous safety requirements of the client and its classification bureau, the vessel selected to perform the contract, motor vessel Jumbo Vision, was mobilized to Singapore to be converted for the work ahead. With near ideal conditions, the overboarding of the 350-ton valve skid was a smooth operation and successfully completed within an hour. Clear that, uh, that half beacon. Yeah. Pick up. Venture vision. Vision venture. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, it's deceiving this angle. It'll be well clear. Step one's over, Richard. At 30 meters depth, the tag lines were cut with the aid of an ROV. Now white clean is what we cut. That's the white painted section there, that's correct. Vision Venture, that's your after outer seven. Then the two mast cranes of the Jumbo Vision lowered the skid to a depth of 100 meters. On the bridge of the CSO Ventura, the ROV coordinator gave instructions to the Jumbo Vision and the Ventura's linear winch operator. The ROV operator had to fit a bridle to the clump weight to help control the orientation of the valve skid. Then the linear winch was hooked into the lifting grommet of the valve skid. Was it come up on the hydrolift? Come up on the hydrolift, was it? Or stop. Okay, right on the linear winch. Can you start coming up on the linear winch? Start coming up on the linear winch. All work went as planned, and a few hours later the valve skid was smoothly taken over by the linear winch of the CSO Ventura. The main blocks of the Jumbo Vision were retrieved to deck and prepared for the next lift. While the CSO Ventura maneuvered the valve skid to its final position, the crew on board the Jumbo Vision cut the sea fastening supports of the first valve skid to make room for the second. That same night, the second valve skid was overboarded and the handover procedure to the CSO Ventura repeated successfully. Uh, the outboard uh, grommet there appears to be, I don't know what, what it is, but they just look like when we were part way down some rope that's just popped up and wrapped around it. Just let ROV know. Pretty quick. Roger, don't stop there. Continue transfer.
With the two valve skids in place on the seabed, the Jumbo Vision sailed back to Dampier to load the 30-inch U-spool. By Saturday morning, the Jumbo Vision had returned to the job site, and once safely hooked up to its mooring anchors, overboarding began. Going JHA, plus the toolbox, and Alex is ready for your green light to start overboarding. Okay, now still on the rock, uh, the motor. Unlike the two valve skids which were hand-shaken across to the CSO Ventura for final installation, Jumbo Vision lowered the U-spool all the way to the seabed to a depth of 125 meters for wet storage. Two further Z-spools were delivered alongside by barge. Jumbo Vision's two cranes had meanwhile been re-reeved for faster hook travel to compensate for the barge's additional motion riding the waves. And finally, these two Z-spools were also successfully lowered to the seabed for wet storage. Jumbo's pioneering method of combined transportation and installation of offshore structures had been proven fully viable.